Next up, we got 20 craziest plays this NFL season. Wow. I ain't gonna lie, this NFL season, it kind of flew by, bro. I'm not gonna lie. This is the first NFL season I actually kept up with. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it flew by, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now we have no football, so it's just like, ah. You know, ah. But, thank God we got Phil Felix. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like button and subscribe button. <sighs> Legends, I've been the 20 craziest plays in the Damn. NFL this season. And Elliott puts the toe on the it, fuck? and the kick is Fires into the end zone. Touch! Oh, yeah, no, no, that was crazy. No, that was crazy. And first, crazy. another player's helmet helps someone pull off a crazy play. Car looking deep. And it is juggled and caught. <laughs> Yo! The ball really went off dude's head, and he still somehow caught it. But number 19 is even crazier, because a player pulled off an NBA move to score. Just, just watch this guy, right? M. Gano, the veteran, 36 years old. Great, great Ooh, I think I've seen that. He jumped over the line, that's crazy. Yeah, we definitely have more NBA, for sure. Man's really Matumbo blocked the kick. Mountain Mahas. Then completely laid up the kicker just so his boy could return it all the way. But that play only happened because it started with a kick. Number 18's craziest play happened when a team pulled off a trick. Usually, the Eagles are always whipping out a play they're most famous for called the Tush Push, which is tush simple push. really. It's just a quarterback sneak with some extra players hitting him from the back. Ooh, the play was already unstoppable. I knew it! I, I knew it! When he said Tush Push, I'm like, here it come, here it come, here it come, here it come. Sneak with some here it come. players hitting him from the back. Ooh, the play was already unstoppable whenever they needed a few It's yards. crazy how this play was. We, we thought this play was unstoppable simply because the, the, the Eagles was a good team back then. Now, we seen them against the Bucks. They can't even get a first down. You know what I'm saying? Against the Bucks, the trash ass Bucks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's crazy how we thought it was overpowered. It's not overpowered, bro. It just depends on the team. Literally, like depends on the, the team, bro. Ooh, the play was already unstoppable whenever they needed a few yards or were close to scoring touchdowns. But during a game when they only needed one yard, when every single person watching the game thought they were calling that play again, they tricked everybody. Gonna sneak it here on third down and one. Did it work? Make it look like that. And then it's a playoff. Okay. And then Devontae always doing that too. It was a skinny Batman. <laughs> now, all right, all right. At least that play was planned. At number 17, a oh, player's yeah. craziest play happened on W Lions. I was like, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing on this play. Like, this is not, I'm not supposed to be in. And it wasn't even just him, though. Robin. Nobody really knew what was going on because their coach called the wrong passing play. So the quarterback changed the play to a simple run just so the play didn't completely backfire. But that's when something happened that nobody was expecting. Like they're starting to, anything could happen. The way they're playing it's showtime. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you mean to tell me we scoring touchdowns on accident? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We not even trying. This is just a a, a, a free play. <laughs> we won't even try. We still score touchdowns. Buck Gerby. I remember this play too. I remember this great great cut right here. <laughs> Ooh, they can run into each other. Yes sir. Yes sir. All the way. All the way. All the way. All the way. That trip was so nasty, it really made three dudes run into each other. That play turned into the Lions' longest rushing touchdown in over a decade, even though their coach admitted it only happened because of a mistake. Believe it or not, coaches mess something up every once in a while. Players made it right, and uh, it's a sign of a good team. Well, I guess he's lucky it all worked out, and that messing up didn't cost him or his team anything. Unlike the crazy play at number 16, that led to someone losing their job. Unfortunately, I won't be there. I was just fired. As you what can the see, fuck? wait. So that's this how they do it? They do it like this? I was just fired. No, in front of everybody, bro. You know how embarrassing that is. You gotta literally tell the whole team you fired. What? Do you know how embarrassing that is, bro? And then this is the only person that had an actual reaction. Everybody else must want him to leave or something. They ain't even give a fuck. As you can see, it was already a blowout. So things can't get much worse than that, right? <laughs> oh baby, unbelievable! Jones. <laughs> it was worse than that, huh? They do it again. 
the Raiders' oh best uh Man, damn near best game since the last I've ever seen. ten years. And that play, combined with the Raiders beating them by the most points they've lost by in franchise history, was so embarrassing that the Chargers' coach literally got fired. I'm sorry, yeah. you're fired. Get out of here. But honestly, that's something I could have seen happening. But I never, ever thought I'd see a crazy play like a number 15. Receiver. Josh Allen? Oh my God. Oh my God. I got this is my favorite play. This is my favorite play. This is my favorite play. I can't even lie to you. This is my favorite play, bro. This is crazy. It was per it was literally perfect. How was it that perfect? It literally flew right. Perfect pass. <laughs> Yo. Fans really made one of the craziest catches all year, all because he took another man's tip. But that play only tied things up. At number 14, a player's craziest play won his team the game. And it's the game! <laughs> that play. Ethan Evans, the punt, and Raven sent to get good field position here. Tylen Wallace from the 25. Tylen Wallace breaks out of the tackle, takes it down the sideline. He stays in bounds. He stays on his feet. He takes it all the way and ends the game. There are no flags. That was a great play. I ain't all those broken tackles, barely staying on his feet, and front flipping for a walk-off touchdown. No wonder why after the game, his entire team got him wet, and we're acting like fools. What? The what? Bro, what are they, bro? Like. They were only lit because they won. Not every crazy play this season was a good thing. At number 13, Justin Jefferson's worst play led to another team's craziest. And I'm going to show you that, plus a oh, whole lot of other crazy meat? plays from this season. But before I do, I just have to tell you about something that's going to change how you use the internet forever. And also the sponsor of this video. Okay, okay, WWE sponsors. sponsors okay, that you can okay, even feel feelings. On Surfshark, back description to make worse play. Jeez, Jeez, led to another team's on, craziest. Now, at first, this was only seeming like something good. And Cousins, deep, oh. it's pulled in. Oh, the yeah, they might find a fumble. it was reviewed and replay showed that Jefferson fumbled touchback? into the end zone for a oh, touchback. And even though he was close to scoring, it instantly gave his opponents the ball. Shaking my head. And with enough time Damn, to make a few plays, it eventually lined things up for the Damn longest the field goal of the season. Whoa! So far. Behind the logo? 61 yarder is on its way, and it is. Bro, that shit is cheating, bro. How the hell do you kick behind the logo, bro? You gotta really think about it. How fucking far is that, bro? 60 yards, bro? It's damn near equivalent to kicking it from the other end zone. It's, it's the equivalent of that, bro. It's no way. How are you doing this, bro? How? It's not a video game. It's not a video game. How are you? How was your leg that song? And he had, yeah. it wasn't like it was like, barely yards. made either. He, Jefferson's face oh, right. knew it was all his fault. That's crazy. That wasn't even the craziest kick of the season, which you ain't ready for yet. We'll get to that in a bit. First, I got to show you number 12, where a player did something nearly impossible. Well, oh, this is a uh, college football first. Field, oh, he caught it with his knee. Okay, that play was damn near a glitch. I don't even know how he intercepted that. But what else besides a video game type of catch can you expect from a man whose initials are PS2 and he rocks a PS2 controller chain? Speaking uh, of virtual games. Oh, oh. What the fuck? Alone, he put foot here? Yo. What the hell? W Felix. PS2 and he what the a fuck? PS2 controller chain. Speaking of virtual games though. At number 11, <laughs> the player's craziest play, nah, that's game when funny. he tried changing Madden what the forever. Hell? Yo! This is little player's craziest play came when he tried changing Madden forever. This is Lil Jordan Humphrey. Yeah, that's his actual name. Lil he ain't a rapper. He's a young NFL <laughs> right. player who was a little disappointed in his career so far, and especially at his rating in Madden being just a 66 overall. <laughs> yeah, man's was ass before he pulled off his craziest play. Uh. Dang, okay. Okay. Lil Jordan. Who did, wait, so his mama named him that? Lil Jordan? I already know the only thing Mads was thinking about the entire time is what he was going to do next. After that play, he instantly whipped out his Twitter fingers and told Madden to boost his ratings by tweeting, Hey, at EA, it's about that time. Now, regardless of what Lil Dude wanted, I just hopped on Madden myself to see if they listened, and unless my eyes don't work, his overall didn't go up a single point. Come on, guys. Where's but, alright, whatever. You Maybe gotta do Madden more than that, bro. Let's be honest. You gotta do more than that, bro. You gotta do more than that. You know what I'm saying? 
You can't just <laughs> one, two thought, one, two good plays, bro. You gotta be consistent, bro. Better for the guys be in our real top goat. ten, because the these plays bro. are on a whole other level of crazy. Like the craziest catch of the season that set an unbreakable NFL record, or the play that only happened because of a deadly plane attack. But before we get to those, at number ten, Mike Evans wrote a dude. It's coming. And he stays up one handed grab. One handed. And dude's ass was above his opponent's head. Like, what? That was crazy. And on top of him riding a dude for one of the best catches this season, it actually helped his team. Unlike number nine, that's the worst interception <laughs> I've ever seen. Yo! What the fuck? Mullins pressured again. He threw he it too. <laughs> Catch it! On top of it. Yo! Yes. Oh it my god, that's a go. That's okay. a go play. Uh, what the um, hell was that? Instead of just play. taking the sack, like my girl does. <laughs> Mance really did all of that. But that was only one crazy play. At number eight, two crazy plays happened at the exact same time. Dude, when you have all these different injuries. Two crazy plays at the same time. Three. Oh, Damn. Up in the air. And it's intercepted off the deflection. <laughs> Wait a minute. Dude really caught that just to get hit so hard, it created a fumble. Uh, or interception? Or fumbleception? I don't even know, man. But what I do know is that number seven is even crazier. Because this guy's craziest play involved his ball and only a few inches. Damn, that's another one. Wow. What the uh, hell? I don't even know what was crazier. The fact that dude really hit the longest field goal of the season from 62 yards away, or that he was only a few inches away from missing. See, babe, a few inches never stopped this guy. A anyways, at number six, Keenan Allen's play wasn't only crazy. Nah, it got him compared to some of the greatest legends in NFL history. Keenan was on pace for a crazy record when this happened. Herbert floats it. Allen! Ooh, I like that. <laughs> yeah. You should have seen my face when dude made that catch. That's not only one of the best catches of this season, but damn near of all time. Also, that of play put time. Keenan's receiving yards over 10,000 in his career, which got him into an exclusive club with some of the best receivers ever. Mance nice. is really with the legends, man. But obviously, just like up top, nobody's ever breaking Jerry Rice's record. And speaking of records, at number five, a player made oh, so many crazy plays this season, he set an unbreakable NFL record. It's never happened in the history of the NFL. The record that Duran Bland was chasing had been held for decades by a legend named Eric Allen, who's not only known as the king of pick sixes, according to the record books, he had the most in a single season with four. But as you can see by the grainy footage, Dang, that was so years That's kind of crazy. Four pick sixes is a lot. In a, in, and not even a game, in a season. Four pick sixes. So, hold on, does he have it? Gary, wait, okay. Allen, Kearney, Houston... Peters, oh Marcus Peters, okay. Gay, wait. You see me and tell me where's Sanders at? I'm confused. Did he not have that many in a in the season? Maybe I'm conf I'm I don't know. I don't know, bro. I, I gotta look it up. I, we gotta look it up, bro. We gotta look it up. How many? What is it? How many? Uh, pick sixes oh no no most most pick sixes most in one season nigga what he literally has seven where are most defenses seven or no interceptions Oh no, that's interceptions. Wait, where is it? They don't have it. Pick sixes, bro. That's literally why. That's literally why I. I, uh, I don't know. Let me look at it one more time, though. So damn, nice nine three. Was this? Yeah, this is his first. This is his first year. He had seven in his first year. That's actually insane. I'm not gonna lie. That's actually insane, bro. One touchdown. I remember for a point in time he was playing receiver though, so these touchdowns might be. What does FR mean? I don't know. All right, I guess he didn't. This season, what Bland was doing had people thinking he was about to make history. Cause now, one. So Jacob.
not two. Second down, a lot of time. Jones just can't find. Comes back across the field. This that was nice. Pays the price. Deron Bland pick six. But three pick sixes within the first couple weeks had everybody keeping their eyes on him. Stafford sees it, fires one, intercepted. It's another pick six. Deron Bland has his third of the year. Then he was close to tying the record only a few weeks later when this happened. He's got time here, and he throws, and it's intercepted. Damn. It's Deron Bland again. Bland looking for another pick six, and he's got it. It's what his the fourth fuck? Three. Yo! Again, Bland looking for another pick six. Intercepted. Whoa. A few weeks later when this happened. He's got time here, and he throws, and it's intercepted. This is a great it's play right here, bro. Because most people will literally go down right here. Like, this is perfect. You made a good catch. And honestly, this is what I would say. Go down, bro. Because you, you, especially if you Drake Greenlaw, you get up. You know he get up. He going to do run back 50 yards and try to run forward, fumble the ball. You know what I'm saying? I would just say just stay down, bro. So you won't sell, sell the play. Bro got up. Got time here, and he throws, and it's intercepted. It's Deron Blanding again. Bland looking for another pick six, and he's got it. It's his fourth of the year. That's crazy. So at That's that crazy. point, the man was intercepting everything, and I assumed, just to make sure he didn't get the record, nobody else would even risk throwing towards it All until right. the very next game. Second and ten. There it is. This is history. If Bland can take it to this Damn, this play right here is the literally record. the best play, too. Like, that's how you know he deserved it. That's how you know he deserved it. That's how you know. That's crazy. Yeah, while breaking an already legendary record, he set his own that'll never be broken. Man's goaded for that. But at least during his plays, he only broke records and those quarterbacks' hearts. Not their faces, like at number four, when a player turned the NFL into the UFC. Second and nine, second quarter begins. Reese Hall. <laughs> that was supposed to just be a hurdle, and it turned into a crazy flying knee to the dome. <laughs> I already know Joe Rogan was somewhere watching it like. <laughs> and as you can see by the player who became a victim, that man was out cold. But something even colder was number three. Oh, Tyree cool, Kill's bro. craziest okay? play gave his opponents free points. See, man's used to be on the Chiefs, so when this play happened, things got a little suspicious. To him, out to oh no, this is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> it's funny because literally in the video, you can literally see. I was like, pitch it back, pitch it back. I literally said it. I literally said it. I literally said it. I'm like, pitch it back, perfect time, perfect time. And he did it. He actually did it, bro. Oh my god, because usually they don't do that shit, bro. They don't pitch it back. Like Greenlaw, again, Greenlaw wouldn't have pitched it back. He would have tried to break the tackle. <laughs> now that's ridiculous, man. A catch from Tyreek turning into a Chiefs touchdown when he don't even play for him anymore. It literally had fans <laughs> calling him a double agent. But at least his mistake didn't cost his team too much. After all, it was only the second quarter. Unlike number two, where one of the craziest plays this season came with no time left in the game. Zone. It oh, is Nobody even With the Broncos down over a touchdown and only enough time for it. one play left, something absolutely crazy had to happen. Wilson looking for a miracle. And it uh -oh. is he got it. It. Ball got tipped by more this dude. nigga feel Felix, bro. That turned into a flight fan overnight. <laughs> what the fuck is going, going? Yo, yo, this is hilarious. This what is hilarious. The? That ball got tipped by more dudes than a hot girl at Hooters, and it was still caught for a touchdown. Regardless, though, they couldn't get too hyped because they still needed a two-point conversion to keep their chances alive. Be disciplined here for Washington. Wilson to the end zone, batted down. And they choke. That was definitely heartbreaking. But it was nowhere near as emotional as the number one craziest play of the season. September oh! 2023. Yes, sir! Donated five dollars. W streamer. Yes, sir. Thanks for the sub. I mean, thanks for the donation. Refs is a goat, bro. Refs to go, man. No play. Thanks. Thanks, 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 thanks. September 11th, 2023 was the day of that emotional play. Everybody was already in their feelings because the game was taking place in New York, where years earlier on that exact day, the city was hit with deadly attacks. 
but this ain't history class, and today was supposed to be different. He's Fans were anticipating nice Aaron Rodgers' debut with their team. Everybody knew the moment was special. He even ran onto the field while representing our country with the flag, which had the whole stadium hype. Until just a few minutes into the game, on just Rodgers' fourth play with his new team, this happened. Protection breaks down and it's funny, I never even seen the video. Rogers in the sack for Leonard Floyd. The former first Woody round pick of the Bears was his ankle? now Rogers or his knee. Down. No, he's, he's he's down. He's down. No. Now, after seeing Rogers leave without being able to walk, then not returning to the game had everyone stunned. But despite all the focus being on if Rogers' injury would keep him out the rest of the night, oh, end his season, or even kill the rest of his career, the Jets had to put all yeah, their moves really on every out. Protection breaks down and time runs out. Down ah. goes Rogers in the sack for Leonard. Well, you look, you can see his leg too. Down and time oh, actually, I know how it happened. I know how it happened. Yeah, he was still trying to move. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of like if y'all ever try to like walk up a hill. Like, you can feel your Achilles, like, hurting a little bit because it's, like, getting stretched so much because you, like, you know what I'm saying? Your, your foot go out like this and your Achilles just go down, like, you know what I'm saying? So I understand. Fans something to be happy. Eventually, Wilkins aside to try and win this game. Even killed the rest of his career. The Jets had to put all their emotions aside to try and win this game. And after hours of the score being close, eventually was tied up in overtime where one play finally gave Jets fans something to be happy about. Sam Martin corrals the snap. It's a short punt. Gibson on the return. Near side. I don't see any flags. Gibson inside the 30. Hits the Jets. And he's going to go. Jets win it. Touchdown. Yeah. Rookie Xavier Gibson. Game over. Man, a walk-off to win the game? That not only gave his team something to be hyped about. It not only gave the stadium something to cheer about, and it wasn't even only dedicated to Rodgers going down. That play gave the entire city a New York hope. So not a single play this season in my eyes could have had an in- Bro, this gotta be the worst tackle attempt I've ever seen in my life. The city of New York hope. So not a single Did play- Did bro jump at him? This Did he try to hurdle him? I've never seen a nigga try to hurdle somebody on defense. <laughs> in my eyes, could have had an impact like that one. Hey. 